Yeah, one, two, three. That's like a ritual I do before I like have to film so I can get my energy up. What What's is up, you guys? What's up? Oh, sorry, bro. Cause I really want to. <laughs> what is up, you guys? It's your boy Axibus here to have to call me at two damn coin out day. Brand no, new YouTube. Too... <laughs> sorry, bro. I haven't had this one yet, so like I'm fucking hyped. You know what I'm saying? Bro, you haven't watched my fucking last video. Shut He's up, like, bro. Bitch. You hella cuddled some old lady. You like that shit? I know. But what's up you guys? How you guys doing? How you guys feeling? Y'all feeling good man? Cause I'm feeling, I feel I feel great. I feel good. You feel good? Bro, can you let me talk? You feel good though? All right. Jesus. All right, I'm gonna shut the fuck up. All right, thank you. So I'm for- not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm sorry. So for- So for today's YouTube video, we picked 12 different last meals that people chose to eat before they were sentenced to death. But instead of 12, we're going to actually add my last meal if I were to be sentenced to death, which is never gonna happen, God forbid. And my special guest, that was supposed to be a special guest, but they didn't want to make it a special guest because they wanted to be in the first video. I'm special all the time, not when I'm just a guest, bitch. I'm always special. It's Fabio! <laughs> so right now we are in front of Vallarta. It's like the Hispanic Walmart. You know you know, Vallarta's where it's at. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I yeah. say, let's go inside. I have a whole grocery list right here. Shanghai made the shopping list as you can tell. And it's everything that we need to eat for these last meals. <laughs> so let's go inside Vallarta, come on. Alex, take the fuck back. I got it. Also, two. Can you buy me a Twinkie, bro? Bro, stop eating that shit. Can First inmate we have on the list is Ted Bundy. The way Ted Bundy would kill his victims is by firstly wearing an arm sling and pretending that he is injured and asking a woman if she could help him take his books to his car. When the woman is bending over to put the books in the car, he hits her with an iron pipe, handcuffs her, and proceeds to her. He did this for every single woman he killed to lure them in into his trap and would kill them all the same exact way. After killing them, Bundy would always take the bodies to the deep parts of the forest and dump them there. For all of his victims, Bunny has gone back to the dump to again. In this case, Ted Bunny actually did get offered the last meal, but he had no preference to the very last thing he would ever taste. All right guys, so for this one, we actually have to physically cook ourselves, but it's okay. I feel like we have to cook at least something. Are you ready to cook? I'm so fucking ready, bro. I was fucking burning to cook. But ask me, like Alex, like what are we cooking? Hey bro, what are we cooking for? This meal is Ted Bunny's death row last meal. Ted Bunny was a serial killer. He lured the woman in because of his looks. He, he killed, I think it was about like 36 women. So Ted Bunny actually did not want a last meal. The default meal that they have, if you don't pick anything, is steak with over easy eggs on top, hash browns, toast with jelly, and a glass of milk with juice. It's like, it's like a breakfast lunch. Yeah, huh, type of vibe. So right here we have a steak. So we're gonna put some salt, we're gonna put some pepper, some adobo. Can I do it, bro? Yeah. I feel like this video is so one-sided. <laughs> Let me do the other side, bro. I just cracked the door. Ah! I, I can touch it. Do you wash your hands? Yeah. I didn't, bro. For lying. See, this is why men ain't shit because they lie, and that's all they do. What are you? In between. <laughs> but this is not hot enough, Armando. Try it. it. It should have been like. Honestly, guys, I've never cooked a steak in my life, but I don't feel oh, like it should I be know, so hot. I knew it. Because you're supposed to put an oven in it. You cannot just cook it there. It's not going to cook. Yes, it is. For you have to oven it. You Who told can. you that? Myself. I, I've done it. Oh, my God, bro. Always wanted to do this, bro. It's a butter. Absolutely fucking disgusting. No. <laughs> so ass. Look, boy. Learn, bitch. I hate this guy so much. We should like poke holes in it. See, so he, now he's just making shit up because he doesn't want it not to worry because he knows that. Bro, that's not how shut you cook up! It. I You're supposed to put it on the fucking oven. You're not supposed to fucking like what? We're gonna poke holes in it so it cooks faster in between. Not gonna lie, bro, that looks good as fuck. Yeah, rayame la olla, boy. 
Rayman es puta olla. Esa puta olla es mía. Esa olla es la compré. Yo la compré esa. Bro, my sugar daddy bought me a whole fucking set of these. Yo compré la que dice el tea. No, no, no. Son mías. Those are mine. Those are mine. Están locos. Están bien pendejos. Disculpame que te lo diga. Nah, you're fucking stupid. Tú no sabes nada, bro. Okay, bro. And I live here, so what? It's fucking mine too. I live here. Those are my pots too. Me la estás rayando toda con el cuchillo, bro. Te vale ver que yo como está abajo. Oh, yeah. Me levanto bien sudado. Debo a la casa yo. The whole, the whole time we lived in this house, you've never cooked one fucking meal. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. What? A fucking cup of noodle, motherfucker? I literally cooked the salmon and rice one time. When? I did it. I remember because I air fried them because I bought them from the fucking... Air fried! Air fried! You don't use the fucking pot. I do. I do. You've never seen me, boy. You never have seen me, bro. It's a side of me that I wouldn't want to show you, bro. But you don't ever cook for shit. You don't know how to cook. Are you ready? Yeah. Slide it out. Slide it out. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to do that? Yeah. Is it me or is it just piano low key like a little bit? Yeah, but it feels yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Cool, yeah. And we have to cook these hash browns, but the air fryer could cook them better, so I'm gonna just put it in the air fryer. Oui. Is that too much? Yeah, well, that's way too much. Yeah? Too much, bro. Ew, are you quick? En serio, hermano. ¿Qué, güey? Con las putas manos. Mira, se acabó de lavar, güey. I'm not surprised, though. I'm going to go crazy. I don't know what else to do. Now we're finally ready to eat the death row meals. So for today's meal, we are going to be eating Ted Bundy's meal. Is it me, bro? Or like now that we're about to eat, it's kind of like, oh damn, like this is someone's last meal. It's like an easy feeling. Bro, it's like, honestly. it's like what? Like you told me that that's the default so, that someone eats if they don't say nothing. Cause what the fuck do you say if you actually get yeah, sentenced, bro? Like, bro? I feel like, like I wouldn't be able to eat. Yeah, I feel like, like I'd be like fucking throwing up. But this is what they're going to give you. Cause he didn't say nothing. Look, do it. All right, Ted Bundy's last meal. Bro, it looks good, but like I'm thinking that I'm this is like my last meal and it's like it kind of unsettles me, bro. So it's toast with butter and jelly, steak, hash brown, and two egg okay. with a glass of orange juice and a glass of milk. And milk. What do you want to start with? You want to take a bite of the toasts? Good toast. No, I just ask. If, if this was the last toast I ate before I died, bro, I'd be so mad. Let's try a stick. I'm gonna try with some eggs. You want to try this one first? Try it first. What are you doing? Mm. Thoughts? It's so good, bro. Bro, with some hash browns. It's really good. I'm actually lactose intolerant, so this is gonna make me shit. Mm -hmm. Damn, bro, like this is crazy. Like, think about like the last time you have orange juice. Imagine they told you this is the last time you're gonna drink orange juice, and you have to live the rest of your life knowing that this is the last time you ever drink orange juice. And then you actually sip it, and you're like, it tastes different. Too. Yeah, yeah, it tastes like, different. Oh, damn, it's orange juice, you know? Literally. I love milk, bro. I never see you drink milk. I stopped drinking milk because pimples and shit. Damn, bro, like, damn. <laughs> this is actually really good. Eat it! I'm gonna have one more bite, you guys. Damn, bro, steak and eggs is bomb, bro. I actually never have gotten steak and eggs. Come on. So for that meal, out of a 10, I give it an 8. Me too. Ted Bunny didn't even eat it. Like I said though, bro, if this is your last meal. And he was, he was crazy. But on to the next meal we go. Next inmate we have on the list is Harry Charles Moore. He shot Laurie, his father-in-law, four times in the face with a 9mm handgun in front of the main Salem post office. Moore then drove to Cunningham's house, shot her in the stomach, and then fired three more rounds point blank into her head. She was his half-sister in addition to being his mother-in-law. Moore claimed that his in-laws had interfered with his marriage and his niece had persuaded her to leave him. So Harry Charles Moore's last meal was actually two green apples, two red apples, a tray of fruit, two bottles. What the fuck? Yeah, bro, that was <laughs> that was on something, bro. What the fuck is this? No way, bro. Like, 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 what is this combination for? Like Coca Cola with fruit? Do we wash these apples? Yeah. I didn't eat fucking. Just eat them, motherfucker. <laughs> I love apples, bro. If this is the last apple I'm eating, I will freak the fuck out. Like, it never sits easy with me, like, knowing that, like... Now you're gonna die. Yeah, like, I don't, think I, do I, don't I wouldn't even be able to fucking eat food. Mm -hmm. you, you think they got two so that he could eat one and then just look at the, at the one that he's never gonna ever see again? Nah, you fucked that shit up, probably. Yeah? yeah. Alright, we tried to buy one? Hey, this is good as apples. I cherish eating apples so much now because when I used to have braces, I never could eat fucking apples. My brackets would always break. Yeah, I fuck with apple. I don't fuck with Android like that. <laughs> All right, let's start a fruit track. So we have watermelon, blueberries, and raspberries. Good blueberries, raspberries, raspberries. Good raspberries. That shit was soggy. That shit was ass. Sorry, I didn't be serious. That shit was ass. <laughs> I choose the watermelon. Oh, I don't know, bro. Like, I don't know about this meal, bro. With the Coke, it's crazy. It's like, for like, wow, you're gonna eat this fruit and then down it with a Coke. Fuck and it. then two, like, that fool fucked it up, fool. You drank two Cokes. 
Oh, oh I still strong. Yeah. Out of ten, what would you give this meal? Bro, I would give this shit a five, bro. Yeah, I'd give like a four. Harry Charles Moore, bro, you tweaked out, bro. But he was literally a tweaker, bro. He shot someone in the head five times. Yeah, I know. he's a fucking tweak. So far, Ted Bundy's meal was my favorite. I think we go on to the next meal, you guys. Next inmate we have on the list is Wanda Jean Allen. In 1981, Allen was sharing an apartment with Dedra Pettis, who was a childhood friend who later then turned into a girlfriend. On June 29th, 1981, they got into an argument and Allen shot and Pettis. In her 1981 confession, Allen stated that she accidentally shot Pettis from roughly 30 feet away while returning fire from Pettis' boyfriend. However, the forensic evidence was inconsistent with Allen's story. In particular, a police expert believed that bruises and powder burns on Pettis' body indicated that Allen had pistol whipped her, then shot her at point blank range. Nevertheless, prosecutors cut a deal with Allen and received a four year sentence in exchange for a guilty plea to a manslaughter charge, which she served two years of the sentence. But that's not it. Seven years after the death of Dedra Pettis, Allen was living with another girlfriend, Gloria Jean Leathers. The two had met in prison and had a turbulent and violent relationship. The two women were involved in a dispute at a grocery store. A city officer actually escorted the two women to their house and stood by while Leathers collected her belongings. Before Leathers left the house, Allen asked her to stay and attempt to work out their difficulties. When Allen followed Leathers to her car, Leathers grabbed a garden rake and struck Allen in the face with the tool. And then Allen returned to her car, grabbed a gun, and then when she saw Leathers closely approaching, fired one shot that severely wounded Leathers. Leathers then passed away from the injury three days later on December 5th, 1988. And then Allen was offered one last meal before she was executed by lethal injection, and her last meal request was a single bag of chips. All right, so she chose a bag of chips, but the only bag of chips that we had were hot Cheetos. We're just imagining this was our last meal. I'd have a bag of hot Cheetos for my last meal, but not just this. I have with other stuff, you know? Nothing crazy. One out of 10. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's crazy though. She killed her girlfriend. She met her in prison. They both got out of prison and then she shot her. I don't get people that murder someone that they romantically fell in love with. Like how do you, how the fuck? It's like an obsession thing, like I would think, bro. Like, like, you, know, like you can only kill someone that you're obsessed with. Exactly. Like I like I don't want to see you with anybody else, so I'm gonna kill you. That's oh, probably what it hell was. No, bro. <laughs> That's fucking insane, bro. All right guys, so we have a special guest that joined the channel, Mr. Wilito. So he's gonna read our next murderer. Robert Anthony Buell. His final meal was a single black olive Oh, I hate olives, bro. I hate olives, too. You want to have my olive, Willie? Really? Olives are fire. If I go you like olives? Yeah. Here, bro. I would eat this. So, let's try it. I hate olives, bro. I didn't even want to try it. That's 0 out of 10. Oh, last meal, it's ass. Yeah, olives by themselves are not the best. I give that a 3. I give it a 2. It wasn't as bad as I remembered, but it was not good. But that's crazy. He asked for one single olive. Like, what do you think he was thinking? Bro, people like that are in the fucking right head. So, like, they're you, probably doing it just, like, fuck with them, you know? Next inmate we have on the list is Douglas Franklin Wright. Wright was an American serial killer who killed at least seven people between 1969 and 1991. He was sentenced to death for three of these murders and executed in 1996 at the Oregon State Penitentiary, becoming the first person to be executed in Oregon since 1962. He was also the first person to be executed in Oregon by lethal injection. One of the crimes that Wright did was on September 4th, 1969, Wright broke into the home of 71-year-old Margaret Rosenberry in Portland, Oregon. He was a friend of her family and was known to them. Upon entering the home, Wright murdered Rosenberry and her granddaughter, 27-year-old Gail Snelly. Armed with a pistol, he Gail via two fatal gunshot wounds to the head and fatally shot Rosenberry three times. He then abducted Snelling's five-year-old son, taking him to several motels in the area where he hit him. He eventually let the boy go. Before Wright got executed with the lethal injection, he was offered one last meal. His last meal request was a single honey bun. Bro, what the fuck is up with these people, bro? That's actually crazy. Like what, like a honey bun for your last meal, bro, after you killed seven people? And, 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 and not and even a, seven people, but your own son. Nah. Bro. And the things that he did to a son, bro, that's, it's actually insane. No, like, 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 that's unsettling as fuck, bro. Like, I don't, I don't I'm telling you guys, it, like, I feel so uneasy eating these, these food, just like knowing like. Like that someone that got chosen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, like what literally. the fuck? All right, take the first bite, bro. That's just a honey bun, nothing and crazy. Bro. I haven't had a honey bun in so long. One out of ten, bro. This is not our last meal, but the fuck. And the fact that he's fucking, that he did what he did and then he picked this, bro. I know, bro. I'm thinking of it, makes me want to fucking throw up right mm -hmm. now. No lie, I swear to God. Oh, hell no, bro. He's eating this shit? Ooh. One out of ten. Fuck that guy. Yeah. Zero. Nasty as shit.
Next inmate we have is James Edward Smith. On the afternoon of March 7, 1983, James Edward Smith entered the office of the Union Life Insurance Company armed and masked. He approached the window where Deborah Renee Wilson was counting money from the cash drawer. Smith aimed and cocked his gun and demanded Wilson to give him all of the money. In a state of panic, she ran behind a file cabinet. Larry Don Rojas then proceeded to the window and handed Smith all the money. He turned around, walked towards Wilson, and was ordered back to the window by Smith. Rojas began to plead for his life but Smith was not satisfied. He shot Rojas in the upper left side of the chest, which eventually killed Smith began to flee the building, but was tackled by an office worker, a work crew, and a businessman in the nearby parking lot. On June 25th, 1990, James Edward Smith was offered one last final meal. He originally asked for Ray Kunda dirt, which is often associated with voodoo rituals. He explained he would use it to mark his body that the spirit would move on and not become a ghost. Luckily, this request was denied and Smith was given a cup of plain yogurt. Next, we have James Edward Smith, whose last meal was requested to be dirt. Is that actual dirt? Is that a piece of chocolate? Is it chocolate cake? No, this is dirt from outside, from the front of the fucking house on the tree. Are you ready, bro? Can you take the first bite? No, bro, are you? Nah, hell no. Take it, bro. Come on. Here. Mm, bro, how am I gonna fucking eat dirt right now? Take it. Is this sanitary? Like, would something happen to me for eating dirt? No? Bro, what? Bro, I'm kidding, 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 I'm kidding. Well, I'm not kidding, but I'm kidding. He actually did request dirt, but since it wasn't in the list of approved foods, they denied the dirt. He believed that if he ate dirt, it was gonna help him like in his reincarnation. Oh hell no. But they denied it. So then he ended up and settled with just plain yogurt. Zero out of ten. What the fuck is this? Oh, it tastes like fucking ass, bro. <laughs> that's the most horrible shit I've had Ooh. so far. That's a fucking negative one. Nasty. I feel like the dirt would have been better than that shit. All right, try the dirt then. Nah, I was about to fuck. I know, I you were about to eat it, bro. I was like, wait, wait, no, no. I was gonna let you eat it too. This next inmate, we have David Edwin Mason. He was an American serial killer who killed at least four elderly people between March and December in 1980 in Oakland, California. He was also responsible for the death of his cellmate in 1982, who was possibly his male lover. Mason had a habit of going into elderly people's house where he would either work for them, make them think that he was a friend, or he would even break into elderly people's house and take advantage of the fact that they were older and steal and rob all their valuable belongings that were inside their house and then later on continue to them. For these crimes, he was sentenced to death and executed at San Quentin State's prison's gas chamber in 1993. Before David Edwin Mason was executed, he was offered one last meal. His last meal request, one cup of ice water. That's crazy. Bro, you know he was killed in a gas chamber? Like they don't do it anymore, but he was the last inmate ever to be killed in a gas chamber. Oh, David Mason? That's the name of the guy from Call of Duty, fam. Oh yeah, with Alex Mason, right? Yeah, the, the, his son. That's crazy. Ice water, bro. Ice water, boy. I would love to drink some cold water before dying, but just that, bro. Five out of ten. Yeah, it's just water, bro. Five. No, actually, bro, ten out of ten. Water is water is life. It's just know? water, bro. Yeah, there's nothing crazy to it. What did he do? He killed four elderly people. He would rob the elderly people and then like just kill them after. Fucking local, bro. And he had for water. He just took advantage of the older people, bro. You know, they don't have anything to protect themselves, so. It's so fucked up, bro. Bro, murderers are insane to me. That's actually crazy. Next inmate we have on the list is Gerald Lee Mitchell. On June 4th, 1985, Mitchell and a friend approached the car of Charles Marino and Kenneth Fleming and then offered to sell them marijuana. And later on when they agreed, Mitchell said that he would lead them to a nearby house but instead led them to a dead end. And that's when Mitchell pulled out a shotgun and demanded them to give him their car keys. Unfortunately, the pair complied and Mitchell led them to a vacant house and then forced them to sit on the floor. Once they were seated, Mitchell told his accompanying friend to go grab some rope. But when doing, he fled the scene and did not return. When just the three remained, Mitchell said, raise your hands, white boy. You don't want to die with your hands down. And then proceeded to shoot both boys with his shotgun, killing one and wounding the other. For these crimes, Mitchell was sentenced to death by lethal injection. For his final meal, Mitchell requested a bag of assorted Jolly Ranchers. For the next one, we have Gerald Lee Mitchell, and his last meal was a bag of Jolly Ranchers. Bro, I love Jolly Ranchers, bro. Like, it fucks me up in the head that someone so fucked up it chose this, bro. Like, guess right now, what color do you think I'm gonna give you? Green. Ready? One, two, three, one, two. Oh, oh imagine. All right, babe. Which one do you think I'm gonna give you? Purple. <laughs> oh, no way. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, come on, try it. I haven't had a Jolly Rancher in so long, bro. Four out of 10, not even, bro, like two out of 10. John Wayne Gacy. In 1972, Gacy began the longest string of killings in US history to that point. Over this four year stretch, Gacy was known for tricking his victims into entering his home, and then proceeded to torture, violate, and ultimately murder them. After claiming the lives of 33 young men, 
Gacy was finally caught and sentenced to death by Licho. Later on, they found out that John Wayne Gacy was accused of burying his body's remain under his house. And the scary thing is, he made himself well known in his community for his political work and his help to charitable causes. He often appeared at children performances dressed as a clown, but the friendly clown had another life. Authorities eventually discovered the remains of 27 corpses underneath the house, plus two more under the garage and driveway. So in total, Gacy was indicated for 33 months. So before John Wayne Gacy was executed by lethal injection, he was offered one final meal. His final meal was 12 fried shrimp, a bucket of KFC chicken, French fries and a pound of strawberries. John Wayne Gacy, last meal was a bucket of KFC, French fries, fried shrimp, pound of strawberries, a diet coke. This fried is, chicken, fries. This is really detailed, bro. Yeah, like he must have hella liked this shit specifically. Want to start with the chicken? Yeah, boy. Chicken. Bro, I don't have KFC in a minute, bro. I actually had it when I filmed with uh, BK and Amanda. Shout out to BNS. You guys are spoke. Bro, is that, does that mean it's not cooked? Okay. Does that mean it's not cooked? No, it's just pink. What's up, guys? I don't like shrimp, bro. I, I'm allergic. Try you want? Cool, I have to fucking die right now. For the video. No, I'm good. I will bite. Tell you guys. Nothing crazy. And then to the top of the off, a strawberry. Good ass strawberry. Mm hmm How do you feel knowing that this guy, you should dress up as a clown and literally perform at kids' birthday parties at hospitals? That's what I was thinking, bro, because this is such a normal meal, bro. And like, but even with everything looking this common, like it's normal, this motherfucker would like little boys he would he would bury kids under his own house bro fool he would gain the trust of the kids because he would yeah. like make him laugh like, oh like i'm the clown yeah and be kids would love him and they would oh hell no i don't even want this fucking yeah show. i don't want this i don't want this shit no more bro this is in a way that's just, this is so unsettling y'all like, hey but if you had one last meal bro obviously you're not a fucking but let's say like you had one last meal on this earth what would you request and what would you eat hmm a tamal with ketchup, bro. Like, my mom's Christmas tamales with ketchup, bro. For sure. You're so deadass right now. I'm too. so deadass. Fuck it. Let's eat your tamale with ketchup. Obviously, these are Fabio's mom's tamales. But they're tamales. Shout out, Karen. Love you, Karen. What's up with that? What? What's up with that? Can't love your fucking mom? <laughs> I always get on your fucking head for eating a tamale with ketchup. There's no way you find satisfaction in mm -hmm. putting ketchup on your tamale. Mm -hmm. I do, boy. That's some Ale shit. You guys, our friend Ale eats ketchup with everything. You get No, a... but Ale puts fucking ketchup on fucking tacos al pastor, bro. That's insane. I don't think I don't think I get to, to that, bro. You don't think it's on the same level as a tamale no, with because ketchup? Because this is a, it's common in Honduras, bro. But like, you know? Yeah, it's good, bro. Yeah. Turn it up. Can you put that much? Yeah. Nah, stop making that face, boy. It's just not warm, that's why. Yeah, it's not. It's cold as fuck. <laughs> but I can see why you like it. Mmm. Hey, you guys wanna try tamale with ketchup? Yeah. It's cold though. It's you, cold ready, as fuck. Imagine, you wanna warm it up? Or no? It's cold as fuck. I'm gonna eat a tamale with uh, crema, not ketchup. I think that's for the wieners. Mm. If it was warm, we're gonna be tweaking out right now. Yeah. Yeah. It's good, but I don't think I'll ever like crave it. I don't think I want that shit. Oh, yeah, I don't want that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I think with crema and queso, fire. But. Yeah, it's just ass. Uh, it's just yeah, not good. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not just good. too sweet. Yeah, no, it, it overpowers the yeah. tamale. But this is not my mouth tamale, so it doesn't count. But, but this is what I would eat, essentially. Ask me what my meal would be. <laughs> what would your meal be? Boy. I feel like if you know, you know. Hot Cheetos and fucking noodles. <laughs> yeah? No, I'm already knowing. I'm already knowing. Literally! So let's make this cup of noodle with a side of hot Cheetos and some Coca Cola. I already had it, that's crazy. Let's make this up right now. Let's try it. All right, blessed. Your last meal? Oh, yeah. Cup of ramen? Good choice, bro. Cup of really noodle. good choice. Some limon. With some limon. Oh. And some tapatio. And with some hot Cheetos. And to drink a Coca Cola with hey, some Hey, bro. Ice. Hey, I like, bro. You did eat with this, bro. Yeah, this is my meal right here. This is a good meal hey, right here. If you put Valentina in your cup of noodle, you will get better, bro. That ass. Tapatio is where it's at. That ass. And I used to be a Valentina guy. You did? Yeah, bro. But then tapatio is just tapatio, bro. A la verga, tam. tam Huela gran puta, bro. Can I do it for you? No. It's my meal! Bro, you're not gonna put that much stuff on the my fucking... It's my meal, fool. Chill out. Ya, bro. Ya, hermano. Ya, bro. Yo no le pongo tan... Ya, ya, hermano. Puta, hermano, bro. Gotcha, bro. Mira. Bro, that's a lot of fucking hot sauce. ¿Y el limón? ¿Dónde está? Ya le eché, ya le eché. No way you put that much, bro. You for real? Bro, it's not gonna be spicy, bro. Hey, you wanna try the one with shrimp? Nah, cause I'm gonna fucking die, bro. <laughs> that shit does smell spicy, bro. Jeez. Mmm. Mm-hmm. You guys, uh, something about that feeling when you eat something hella hot and then you drink something cold right after. So bad for you. It is, huh? <laughs> it's hella bad for you. And then with the bag of hot Cheetos. That's worse. 
Amazing meal, bro. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, bro. I don't care. This is better than the steak and eggs that has. This is better than the steak and eggs. Like, out of all the meals that we tried, which one has been your favorite one? All right, besides this one, then. Mine was the steak and eggs. Mm. Steak and eggs, bro. Yeah, huh? Yeah, bro. Because everything else was weird, but like, what the fuck did we do, honey? Oh, the tamale. But this doesn't, doesn't count, right? You like the tamale better than the steak and eggs? No. Because this one was not my mom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like, whatever. And the thing bro. is, too, that was Ted Bunny's meal, but that food denied it. He didn't even eat it. Remember, because he didn't have any, but yeah. that's a default meal. That's actually insane. You know what's insane to me right now? What? Well, I just noticed. You're one of those that has food in their mouth and drinks fucking Coke and mixes everything up and downs it. That's fucking disgusting, bro. Why you do that? Real shit. You know what's even more disgusting? You fucking chew your mouth open when you chew. You see all your fucking no, smushed up food in your mouth. When do I chew my mouth open, bro? Bro, don't even get me started on that, bro. Yeah. All right, boy. What do you guys say now? 10 out of 10 meal. Yeah. All right, guys, so that was the end of today's YouTube video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, please be sure to subscribe down below. Leave a big thumbs up. Go check out Fabio's music. Yeah, yeah. You know, he's an artist. Go show love to him, too. Thank you for being in my video today, bro. Thank I appreciate you, bro. it, bro. Sorry, bro. Appreciate that. Thank you, boy. What was your experience overall, bro? Honestly, bro, it was really fun. <laughs> exactly, bro. That's what I'm talking about. This food's falling out of his fucking mouth right now. My opinion on today's video, it was really fun. Honestly, I had a really uneasy feeling eating all the food, knowing that this is what they chose after they did what they did. I know you're reminding me, fool. Literally, bro. That's like, crazy. It's yeah. It's insane. Yeah, honestly, like, looking at the food, look at the food, bro. Everything looks good, but then you think that motherfuckers are their own children. Nah, don't even say, don't even people in the head. Yeah, 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 yeah. Crazy shit. They chose that, so. That's unsettling. The food was good, but then the setting is yeah unsettling. But I had a good time with you, bro, because I, I didn't get to this by myself, you know? Yeah, me too, bro. Thank you, bro. Mi perro, mi perro, mi perro. Well, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on next week's YouTube video. See ya!